What's up everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider, and today we are actually on the road as we talk about the 2019 16-inch MacBook Pro. After months, a long, long time of rumors, this is finally real, it has finally been announced just this morning, so we are really excited to finally uh, be able to talk about this real device that we are soon going to have in our hands. So the new machine, here is everything you need to know about the 2019 16-inch MacBook Pro. So the first thing to obviously talk about is the newly redesigned screen. It comes in at 16 inches, which is above the 15.4 that we saw in the last generation. But it really does that by shrinking the bezels down and not largely increasing the footprint of the machine itself. So you're gonna get more real estate and pretty much the same compact body. We really like that. It also is supposed to be much more vivid and color accurate and it's gonna look great. I know a lot of photographers, videographers like me are gonna love that higher resolution in this machine. We also have updated audio internals. Apple's done a lot of work with Beats and the AirPods and Beats Solo Pro, and they've really been improving their audio game. We even saw with the new iPhone, so it is no surprise that the speakers in the new machine are also going to have much better audio quality. Now, looking at those speakers, we also have a redesigned keyboard sitting there next to them, uh, but it brings a lot of things that people have been asking for, including increased reliability, and we have the inverted T design back for the arrow keys. I have had this machine uh, since the redesign came out, and I have not gotten used to the uh, the arrow key design on this machine. It is just not great. So I'm really excited to have the new design coming uh, back, the old design back coming to the new MacBook Pros. We also have an independent escape key once more. So anyone who uses that escape key often to be a physical escape key that is not tied to the touch bar, which is still there above the keyboard. Otherwise, the big changes is the internal. So let's go ahead and compare it to the previous generation MacBook Pro. The new machine comes with a 3072 by 1920 display with a pixel density of 226 compared to only 220 on the last generation. It can be configured up to a 2.4 GHz 8 core i9 9th gen processor, and the memory can be doubled internally up to 64 gigs of RAM. For graphics, it can be configured up to an AMD Radeon Pro 5500M with 8 gigs of GDDR6 memory and the capacity internally has been doubled. It can go up to eight terabytes of SSD storage and the battery life has been expanded to now operate for up to 11 total hours. So that is it after a lot of rumors. That is the new MacBook Pro. Updated audio capabilities, better and more reliable keyboard with an inverted T design for arrow keys and the independent escape key. We have a bigger, more beautiful display here in the same compact body. So this is going to be an epic machine with an incredible performance and we're going to bring you a lot more coverage. We're going to be testing out the thermal limitations. We're going to be comparing those keyboards and reliability as best we can. Uh, and of course, a full review once we have this in the studio. So stay tuned to Apple Insider. If you want to pick one up now, uh, you can find the best deals at the links down below in the description or reach me directly on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU because I really want to talk about this machine a whole lot more. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.